Hi guys, welcome to today's feature tour, which is a luxury cabin alongside a lake. We are in Wisconsin's North Woods, and when you walk in, you can see all the natural light pouring in, really highlighting all the rich and warm features of this home. This will be an incredible tour. Let's get started. If this is your first time to our channel, then you should know that this home can be customized and built anywhere throughout the United States and Canada. Comment below. Let us know what some of your favorite features are. Now let's get started. We are in the great room area and the feature wall just captures your attention when you walk in. Pulls your eye directly out to see that incredible lake view and at the same time brings in all of this great natural light pouring in from the high ceilings above. The feature wall is trimmed out with our extra large 12 inch wide hand peeled logs. This really sets a statement. Combining that with the direct set windows, we see mostly a mixture of glass and logs. It's perfect for this aesthetic. Something that's neat about this space is you can just sit down and with these high windows, you can see the sky in the evening time. You can see eagles flying around. And when you sit back, you just take it all in. We've got two beautiful chandeliers above us with stained glass and wait until we get later in the tour, you'll see where that stained glass continues with some very special windows up in the loft. Back to that ceiling, we've got the reclaimed finish, bringing in just the beautiful colors that we see on the wall finish and the trims, but also some darker textures that we see on the flooring below. The inverted valley is trimmed out with our round log trim, and then you'll see a great mixture of square and round with the railing system. The square posts complement the rectangular shape of the square rails and spindles. The eased edge that you see on the rails resembles the draw knife peel finish that we have on the wall logs. These logs have an eight inch stack height and the homeowners preferred round logs because of the added dimension of shadows that you see as you look throughout the home. The unique opportunity that a flat log allows is what you see right over here with this support post. And this is that hand-hewn finish that I had mentioned before. A room that seems to be a must-have on everyone's list is a screen porch. Now in this case, it is so much more. We've got a three seasons room, which is perfect for having everyone around by the fire, easy access to the kitchen. And even check this out, we've got a door on the side. So if you're over on the deck or down by the beach, you can easily get into the kitchen area without walking through the great room. I'm excited to show you the flexibility of these windows. First of all, they naturally can keep out the elements, whether it's wind, snow, rain, but also you can control the ventilation. So if it's in the fall time, you want just a little bit of ventilation coming in, that is perfect. But when you're on a lake, you're looking down at a view. With these, you can push them up and out of the way. Alternatively, if you're alongside the mountains, you could bring them all the way down. Perfect for that mountain view. And if you are like us and you're alongside a Wisconsin lake, you can remove them all for the whole summer. And that way you get the full view. This is perfect. Another great feature that we have in this space is having the fireplace. It helps us get that third season, keeping this room feeling warm and cozy. Here is a great design tip if you're incorporating a screen porch or three seasons room on the side of your home, which has a view consider lowering down the space. That way your eye overlooks the furniture when you're inside the home. We've also incorporated a 12 foot wide patio door, which has a six foot wide opening. This is terrific because if we have all the screens in full use, it allows great airflow into this space. And then there is no need for a screen on this door. There is a great view no matter where you're sitting at this dining room table. We've got this extra large window right behind me. Naturally, it's bringing in all that light, allowing us to see to the opposite side of the lake. But also, when the kids are playing in the tree fort, you can keep your eye on them over there. Now, let's get into the kitchen. We are only getting started. There's still so much more to show you on this tour. The island is four feet deep, over 12 feet wide, plenty of seating on the backside. And another great perk is that those cabinets are accessible which is terrific for any overflow storage. Now take a look at the cabinets on the back wall. We're going from floor to ceiling, 
Over on the refrigerator side, these custom cabinets were hand selected by the homeowners. They had up to 13 wood species to choose from and nearly any sort of color that they could come up with. In this case, we had chosen a rustic alder. The rich dark color of the wood knots tie in perfectly with the color of the flooring finish. Also, the rich brown bounces a lot of great colors that we see throughout the whole space. The homeowners do a lot of cooking, which is why it was important to have a 48 inch wide range. This wolf range definitely makes a statement. And of course, the hood above is just the icing on the cake. It is a statement piece. We also get great lighting below it. The under cabinet lighting and lighting below the hood allows for great task lighting when working in the kitchen. Another great feature is having a pot filler which matches the Venetian bronze on the kitchen sink faucet right over here. What's great about these faucets is that these have magnetic collars. That way they snap back into place. The dark finish on the cabinet poles and the faucets ties in perfectly with the veining that we see in the granite countertops. And above us on the island, we've got beautiful obscure glass on each of these three pendant lights. The refrigerator is 48 inches wide, seven feet tall, and everything is made to fit. That's a great benefit of working with the design team at Golden Eagle. We knew all of the appliance specs before these cabinets were built, that way there were no surprises. Now before we get into the master suite, I wanted to highlight this 10 foot wide fireplace chase. We got a three foot wide sealed door unit and extending the hearth all the way over allows for extra wood storage. And take a look at this flooring. The flooring itself is a statement piece in this home. This is six inch wide planking with a circle saw and finish. And you can see that there's a different glaze over the top of it, offering a depth of different colors. Now let's check out that master suite. Attached to the master suite, we've got a patio door looking out to the view as well as access to the lake. This is just charming, having a reading nook area with your own gas fireplace. We can see a great contrast of the log wall finish on the perimeter walls in this room and then a reclaimed weathered finish on the interior partition walls. The planking has a variable height of five inches and seven inches with nickel space gapping between each board. We've also got that on this interior partition wall, an incredible walk-in closet behind me with closet organizers. This is just great. That goes on and on. And let's check out the master bathroom. We've got two sinks in here with just a beautiful top. Flanking each side of the vanity are tall linen cabinets and an extra large mirror. Not only does this reflect a lot of great light, but it also allows for a great overflow of visual space. This was even custom made for the lower height of the makeup area. All the great storage in here combined with that huge walk-in closet makes for a perfect master suite. Check out this shower. This has a terrific combination of colors, mixing dark and light, and also capturing the brown tones that we see in the vanity top as well as the cabinetry. When you've got the square footage, it's great to also incorporate a private powder room just like what we have here. And take a look at the shaker style on all these interior doors, a three panel shaker. This is a rustic pine, ties in great with the shaker style of the cabinets. We've got a guest bathroom to check out right by the entrance. Let's take a look. Of course you want the guest bathroom to be close in proximity to the common space, but it's also nice if you can extend the wall a little bit, creating a little bit more privacy for that room. Additionally, you don't need a lot of storage, which is why it's nice to incorporate something a bit more decorative. We've got some beautiful pedestal legs down there, a few drawers for any extra overflow, but storage wasn't of the utmost priority. It often isn't in a guest bathroom got nice countertops. It's always great to make a statement piece in the guest bath, which is why we've got a channel faucet. That is perfect. We've got the dark bronze, once again, tying into the bronze that we've got on the hardware. Now keep in mind, all of this was selected by the homeowners at Golden Eagle Log and Timber Homes. We've got an incredible design center showroom where your interior doors, your cabinetry, faucets, vanity tops, all of that and more is selected with our interior and exterior design experts. We've also got a nice double hung window over here, perfect for allowing in natural light, but also good ventilation in this space. Take a look at these doors. You may have noticed a terrific blend of colors throughout this home. 
We've got Golden Eagle's custom proof finishing applied to all of these doors, as well as the trim casings, and even that tongue and groove wall finish. The entry door is located at the center of the home, which is perfect because right when you walk in, you see this incredible feature wall. The orb chandelier above us offers great lighting to this space. Of course, we've got code access right off that front entry, and then direct access to the finished lower level as well as the loft above. That loft is spectacular. You're gonna wanna see that. This door, being that it's eight foot tall, we wanted to make sure it had triple point locks on it. And how fitting is it to have three lights up there just complementing that shaker style that we see throughout the home. Let's head upstairs to the loft. You are gonna wanna see this. Coming up here, we get a much better look at this ceiling finish. It looks even better up close. We can see the old nail marks from the barn that this was pulled from. And we also have a change in the floor finish as well, which has more of those nail marks as well as some wormholing on different boards. Now these gable windows, this is incredible. You do not see this in an ordinary home. That's what makes Golden Eagle Log and Timber Home so special, being able to incorporate something like this allows for not only the overflow of light, but also great continuity, being that we've got this incredible feature wall on the other side. When we were down below, I had mentioned the inverted valley trim. These are really log beams here. Now just think about it. Usually someone would use a small four inch wide trim there. <laughs> this really makes a statement though. It's the utilization of all these cool materials in these homes that make them one of a kind. Now let's head to this end of the loft. What helps make this space look so custom and special is the gable dormer that's above me. That's what's allowing for the beautiful contour that we see to the ceiling structure and also these double hung windows overflowing light into this room. How neat is it that you can be working at home in the office and also still have a lake view. And speaking of windows, take a look at the stained glass over here. This was very intentional from the homeowners. They had told us early on they wanted to incorporate that piece as well as another one right over there. What we did was we used a fixed picture unit from Pella. That way they've got the energy efficiency of that Pella unit. And then that stained glass was inlaid, perfectly made to fit. This is just wonderful. It offers great color to the space and also highlights something that was very important to the homeowners. We've got a great family room area with the TV, which you'll see makes a lot of sense because we've got a great bunk room for the kids and grandkids to stay in right over here. You've got to see this. We are above the garage space and look at all the beds that this can fit. This is amazing that the kids can have this dedicated area with a refrigerator, microwave, plenty of storage. This is just perfect for the kids. And there's even a full bathroom right over here and there are some great ideas that you may want to consider. When guests are visiting for the weekend, they'll oftentimes bring toiletry bags and those will be sitting out on the vanity tops. Instead of cluttering those spaces, it makes sense to utilize open shelving. In this case, the homeowners incorporated Golden Eagle's Live Edge Rustic Pine Slabs. This looks really cool. They're extra deep, which is perfect for towels also. You may have noticed in the kitchen area, they also use the same Live Edge slabs as a bench space. That was a great idea. On the other side of the loft, we've got another suite. This is the same footprint as the master suite below. Continuing the trend of the other side of the loft, we've got all these incredible roof lines. This is just beautiful with the inverted valleys and the gable dormer over here. We even got our own special seating area. There's a full walk-in closet over there and you've got to see this bathroom suite. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Completely different finishes than what we've seen throughout the rest of the home. There is terrific symmetry throughout this space with a vanity wall cabinet right in the middle. We've got a nice beadboard finish on the inner panel of these wall cabinets. Flat drawer front, which I think that simplicity offers a great contrast with the detailing that we see in the door style itself. The crown molding is nicely finishing off that wall cabinet, drawing your eye up to the vaulted space above. We're combining sheetrock not only on the walls, but also the ceiling finish as well, which is bouncing around a lot of great natural light. 
And there's another beautiful tile shower. You'll even notice that the gray tone on this ties into that gray tone that I mentioned in the cabinets earlier. Now on our way out, I wanted to point out the great use of some low headroom space. This is great to have a nice little seating area if you're doing a little bit of desk work, or just lounging or waiting for someone to still get ready for the day. You can even see the lake view, or if you're waiting for anyone to pull up, you've got a great view of the driveway. Now let's head down to the finished lower level. That is certainly a great space and you'll get a lot of great ideas from it. The good ideas keep coming. We've got a lot to show you down here. There's a wine cellar access to the lake, but let's get into the recreation room first. How great is this? There's plenty of overflow space. You can have a lot of guests here at one time. There's even a kitchenette area with a full fridge, full sink, dishwasher, which is great because you don't need to take everything upstairs to the main kitchen. Using reclaimed wood on the back of the peninsula area is a great idea because it withstands any appearance of wear and tear. The four pendant lights above us have a gold metallic finish, which tie in great with the rich gold tones of the countertop. This kitchenette doubles as a bar area. We can see that with the open shelving. This is perfect if you'd like your guests to help themselves, but you don't want all of the liquor and alcohol sitting out in visual line of sight. Another great thing to consider is using tall base cabinets, just full height doors. That way you can store tall bottles or tall glasses in there. The next time you're hosting, you're probably gonna be considering, where am I gonna plug in all the Nesco's and Crock-Pots? Which is why it's perfect to have dedicated outlets placed throughout this peninsula area. It keeps the cords tidy and tucked away. It's very common for new home designs to have a dedicated fitness center. And this is perfect. Being that we've got the concrete floor below us, combining that with a rubber flooring, you can be dropping weights and it doesn't shake the whole house. It is still quiet down here, which is just perfect for a fitness center. We even have the utility room on the other side of this door. This home features radiant in-floor heat. There is a boiler in there. It not only heats that in-floor heating, but also your residential hot water for your faucets. It is a very energy efficient system and it makes a lot of sense when you're building brand new. That in-floor heat, it does not go into the wine cellar. This is a chilled room. We even have a rubber gasket sweep at the bottom here. And you can tell when you enter this space that you're walking into something intentionally designed for storing wine. And this is absolutely beautiful. Even take a look at the wall finish over here. It looks just like the wood that you would use in an old reclaimed wine barrel. That's just beautiful. Across from the wine cellar, we've got another bedroom in here. You could easily have a king size bed or even just two queens in there. That's a big space. There is so much storage for anyone who's staying here. We've even got another full size bathroom connected down here. This home features four full bathrooms and one half bath. You may notice that each of these bathrooms are unique in their own way. They've got different style vanity tops, different faucets and even different tile in the tile showers. They are all beautiful. We do see the consistent trend of that open live edge shelving. And something I wanted to point out to you is the use of taller baseboard. So this is six inch tall baseboard, pre-finished at gold legal, just like the door. That was a great idea. Right over here, we have access to the lake. Think of how convenient this is. All the items in the space would typically be stored in the garage and then you would need to bring them from the lake side all the way to the front of the home. Well, here we've got access directly out and we can store everything down here. It's all dedicated for lake fun. This is a great idea. Incorporating a washer and dryer in this space makes a lot of sense, especially for all those sandy beach towels. You may have seen in some of our previous videos that we like to incorporate drop zone mudroom areas, especially in rooms like this where there's a lot of traffic coming and going from the outside. It's great for overflow of jackets and hats, as well as miscellaneous items like these beach essentials. Now let's head outside and you will see how distinctive this log cabin really is. We are now outside of that lower level entry. Think of how convenient this is. You could be gathering around the campfire. The bathroom is just right inside the house. The kitchenette is just down the hall a little bit further. You've got the lake access right over here, and we've even got a tree for it. 
which is perfect for the kids that are hanging out with a swing set below, access to the driveway. Anyone pulls up, they'll see that you're having a campfire, they'll know exactly where to go. This is a terrific outdoor setup. The exterior of this home is absolutely stunning. There is log on all of these wall finishes with accents in each of the gables. The windows are Pella's maintenance-free brown color. We've got statuary bronze for the fascia and the soffit. And when you combine these high-performance stains with our kiln-dried materials, it will ensure that this log home will continue to look good for generations to come. There are so many incredible ideas. Comment below with what your favorites are and check out the rest of our channel for many other great home tour videos.